Okay, so I realized it. Welcome back to my station. I'm Kelly, your favorite truth driving lawyer, mom of twins, three kids, rescue dogs, and rescue cat, for rescue guinea pigs who likes to craft your spare time. has gone back to school to learn ASL and is trying to train for Iron Man. Um, I realized yesterday when I filmed my floss tube that I did not do my 52 card whip pickup to know what my whip that I'm going to touch this week is. Um, because, you know, last week it was Rosie. I worked a lot on Rosie. I love Rosie. I will continue to work on Rosie because she was called for whip go and she was also, um, it was also, it's part of my Lion and Witch for Whip Warriors. Um, Lion and Witch. Lion and Lamb for Whip Warriors. <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself up. Oh. Um, I'm missing one. I still can't find my magic study, which is really weird. But so what I may have to do um, in talking to them is leave it out next, like for March. That's fine. I will put in some stitches and magic study later this year to make up for that. Um, I'll just keep track of how many rounds it would have gotten had I had it in a rotation, I guess. I don't know. And I have decided that for right now, I'm going to leave out the stockings. So maybe in April, I'll do a round with Magic Study because I need to find that in the two stockings where I kind of, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. But for not, Magic Study is going to get left out. Okay, so last week was Rosie. This week is this nine of spades, nine of spades. And for me, that is Sylvia's bridal quilt. So I will be building more blocks, which is awesome. Um, so that means the sewing machine is coming out this probably next weekend. Um, my kids, it's the red cedar competition, not Thorn Apple Valley. Thorn Apple Valley has a different competition, just so you all know. We're going to Red Cedar, which is in Okemos, next to M like which is like the town next to um, MSU. I will have to promptly leave there. What is like basically it's almost as soon as they're done, we'll grab lunch on the road. I have to then I'll drop them off, and then I'm going to go and interpret. Um, for actually, it looks like three deaf people, and there are only two of us interpreters. And one of them is Nick. So, and the other one is my one teacher, Glenn, who is just, so it's going to be like having two sugar hyped up ADHD boy, 12 year old boys. And so it's, it'll be fine. It's going to be a riot. I cannot wait. Um, I think we are interpreting, um, if I recall from Jasmine and I will be interpreting from two, starting at two o'clock until eight o'clock. Um, Y'all send prayers. That's a long time as a still learning interpreter to be interpreting. Uh, so yeah, so fingers crossed. Um, and I've never met Amanda, so I have no idea what to expect from her. So, um, we'll see. We'll just keep going. So, with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. But I just realized that I hadn't included that, so I'm gonna part. I'm gonna post this as a separate video. You'll all see it, um, and we'll go from there.